गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वी हैव सीन इन लास्ट लेक्चर द फोटोकेमिकल रिएक्शन फॉर एस सी एल इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी द रिएक्शन काइनेटिक्स फॉर फोटोलिस ऑफ एसिटाल दिस वन इज अवर लेक्चर नंबर टेन एंड द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम चैप्टर टू सिंपल एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स काइनेटिक्स photochemical reactions this is our heading and in this we will see photolysis of acetaldehyde so see while studying this type of reaction the following points are to be kept in mind the equilibrium yield increases with increasing temperature because in photochemical reactions yield is very important an yield is called as a quantum yield quantum yield of carbon monoxide formation increases with decreasing wavelength means energy increases yield will be more and energy and wavelength are inversely proportional then the quantum yield of carbon monoxide formation at room temperature increases with decreasing pressure at 3130 angstrom unit so at room temperature quantum yield increases as pressure goes on decreasing and the photolysis of acetaldehyde in the light of 2500 to 3100 angstrom unit wavelength yields methane carbon monoxide ethane and number of other products so during photolysis reaction in the presence of light and wavelength of light will be 2500 to 3100 angstrom unit at that time there are some by products are formed methane carbon monoxide ethane and other products so see the reaction of photolysis as like This one is acetaldehyde CS three CHO plus H nu. It gives methane gas plus C two H six plus carbon monoxide and other products. So for this reaction, we have to find out the rate to account for the above facts. The following mechanism mechanism has been proposed. so for photolysis of reaction these are the steps this is the first reaction but actual mechanism of reaction is here initially we have taken acetaldehyde the photon of light h nu is bombarded on acetaldehyde rate is k1 with rate k1 it forms cs3 and cho then again we have the acetaldehyde remain in the system this by product cs3 it combines with the acetaldehyde with rate k2 it forms methane plus cs3 co this hydrogen will bind with cs3 and the formation of ch4 plus cs3 co next this intermediate cs3 co is taken here with rate k4 it forms carbon monoxide plus cs3 so just this one get separated then this cs3 is taken here cs3 plus cs3 with rate k4 it gives c2 h6 so carbon monoxide is formed only in step c here hence the rate of formation is given as d into concentration of co divided by dt is equal to k3 into concentration of cs3 co so c sorry here is a k3 and both step this written k4 when this one but this one is k3 so we will uh, type here 
D CO by DT or rate of change of concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to change in time is equal to K3 into concentration of CS3 CO. This one is our equation number one. The CS3 CO is formed in step B and removed in step C. So see CS3 CO is formed in second step and it is utilized in second it is utilized in third step so formation is second step and utilized in third step so we have to write down the intermediate concentration for this intermediate should be present in at least two steps here co is the product and cs3co is the intermediate so we are going to write down the rate for CS3CO. So, rate of change of concentration of CS3CO with respect to change in time is equal to. So, see, with rate K2, it is formed from CS3CHO and CS3. So, just formation rate is positive plus K2 into concentration of CS3CHO into concentration of CS3 minus this one is our K3, K3 into concentration of CS3, C. And the species is going to decrease, that's why sign is negative. And this one is our equation number 2. Similarly, CS3 is formed in step A, C and it is removed in step B and D. So, C. Again, next intermediate is CS3. CS3 is formed here. It is utilized here. Then again in third step it is formed. And it in fourth step it is utilized. <coughs> so see, this one is our next intermediate. So write down the rate. So here in first step it is formed. So K1 into concentration of CS3 CHO and light is absorbed that's why we can write in the equation as i absorbed so see dc is divided by dt is equal to k1 into i absorbed here we have initially neglected cs3 cho because the formation rate of cs3 and cho products is depend on the absorb light not on the concentration of CS3 CHO so this is the equation which is independent of the initial concentration so we have written directly K1 into R absorb plus in the next step it is utilized so K2 into concentration of CS3 CHO plus CS3. This is the next step. Minus K2 into concentration of CS3 CHO into concentration of CS3. In third step, it is formed, therefore, plus K3 into concentration of CS3 CO. This one. And in fourth step, it is consumed. That's why K4 into concentration of CS3 square two CS3s are there and it is decomposing its concentration is going to decrease that's why sign is negative so this is our equation number three for rate of change of concentration of intermediate CS3 with respect to change in time now we have to apply steady state approximation to the intermediate CS3 CO and CS3 respectively so we have equation to add 3. So just put is equal to 0 and write down the equations as DCS3CO divided by DT is equal to K2 into CS3CHO into concentration of CS3 minus K3 into concentration of CS3CO is equal to 0. And therefore, just write down this equation separately here. K2 into concentration of CS3CHO 
into concentration of CH3 minus K3 into concentration of CH3C. It's equal to zero. This is our equation number four. Now we have to apply steady state approximation to this equation also. So by applying steady state approximation, this equation is equal to zero. So just write down this part here as equation five. K1 into I absorb plus K3 into concentration of CH3CO minus K2 into concentration of CH3CHO into concentration of CH3 minus K4 into concentration of CH3 bracket square is equal to 0. This is our equation number 5. Now we have to do addition of equation number 4 and equation number 5. So just add these two, first write down this part and then this one. So I have written the equation number 4 and equation number 5. Till this equation number 4 is there and this one is equation number 5 and is equal to 0. Just equations are added. So, first term, K2 into concentration of CH3CHO into concentration of CH3 minus K3 into concentration of CH3CO plus K1 into I absorb plus K3 into concentration of CH3CO minus K2 into concentration of CH3CHO into concentration of CH3 minus K4 into concentration of CH3 bracket square is equal to 0. This is our equation number 6. See in this equation the common terms are here plus term is here, same term is here but this is negative term. So positive and negative terms get cancelled. Next one minus K3 into concentration of CH3CO and here plus K3 into concentration of CH3CO. So minus and plus terms get cancelled. Then Only remaining terms are K1 into I absorbed plus, uh, sorry, K1 into I absorbed is written here and this term is negative because sign is negative minus K4 into C concentration of CH3 bracket square is equal to 0. This one is our equation number 7. Now just transfer this negative term to the right side and note down equation as K1 into I absorbed is equal to K4 into concentration of CH3 bracket square. Now we have to find out concentration of this. So just transfer K4 to the left side. Therefore concentration of CH3 square is equal to K1 by K4 into I absorbed. So just take square root of the right side so we can get concentration of CH3. So Concentration of CH3 is equal to square root of K1 by K4 into I absorb or you can write this equation as K1 by K4 is to half into I absorb is to half. This to half and square root are equivalent terms. Then this is our equation number 8. Now we have the concentration of CH3. Now we are going to put this concentration of CH3 in equation number 4. So see our equation number 4 is this, K2 into concentration of CH3CHO into concentration of CH3. So now we have calculated concentration of CH3. Just put this value here, K2 into concentration of CH3CHO into concentration of CH3 minus K3 into concentration of CH3CO is equal to 0. So we can put value. This CH3CO divided by dt is equal to K2 into concentration of CH3CHO into concentration of CH3 minus K3 into concentration of CH3CO is equal to 0. Just take this part here. So K2 into concentration of CH3CHO as it is into concentration of CH3 is to have this put this value K1 by K4 is to half into I absorbed is to half or Take all the terms in bracket and raise to half. This minus term shifted to the right side. K3 into concentration of CH3CO. Now this is our equation number 9. Now we are going to put this 
equation number 9 in equation number 1 because in equation number 1 we have taken this part. So see our equation number 1 is here d cvo by dt is equal to k3 into c3 cvo concentration. So we have this value now. So just put value in this d into concentration of carbon monoxide divided by dt is equal to k3 into c3 cvo. This is equation number 1. So just put value of this. This is written at the right side. K2 into concentration of C3CHO in a bracket K1 by K4 into I absorb raised to half. Just we have taken the value as it is from equation number 9. Then D into concentration of CO divided by DT is equal to K2 into K1 by K4 raised to half. Just written the separately into concentration of C3CHO into I absorb raised to half. This one is our equation number 10. Now, just put K is equal to K2 into K1 by K4 raised to half. So, this term is equal to capital K. Just put here. K2 into K1 by K4 raised to half is equal to capital K. So, equation number 10 becomes D into concentration of CO divided by DT is equal to K into concentration of CH3CHO into I absorb raised to half. So, this is our final equation for formation of a carbon monoxide. Now, we are going to find out the quantum yield. So, as already I have told you, the quantum yield is very important in the photochemical reactions. So, Quantum yield means what? The amount of luminescent photons divided by amount of absorbed photons. Luminescence means emitted photons divided by absorbed photons. You can give us a quantum yield. So, now we are going to find out the quantum yield of this reaction of photolysis of acetaldehyde. So, quantum yield, if the rate of formation of carbon monoxide is divided by the intensity of absorbed radiation. The value of quantum yield is obtained as so quantum yield is equal to rate of change of concentration of carbon monoxide with respect to time divided by I absorbed. So it's equal to just put value of this. So we have the value capital K into I absorbed raised to half into concentration of CH3CHO. This is from equation number one, uh, equation number eleven. Then put this value as it is I absorbed. Now multiply this numerator and denominator by I into I absorbed raised to half. So just multiply this and this by I absorbed raised to half. So I absorbed raised to half into I absorbed raised to half, it will be only I absorbed. And here I absorbed into I absorbed raised to half. So I absorb and I absorb get cancelled, and the remaining term is only I absorb raised to half. So equation 12 becomes quantum yield is equal to K into concentration of C3C2 divided by I absorb raised to half. So this is our equation of a quantum yield for photolysis of acetaldehyde.